Today we're going to go on an exciting journey deep inside the Earth. We're going to learn all about the inner surface of our planet. Let's explore the different layers, the materials and the amazing facts about what lies beneath our feet. First, let's talk about the Earth's layers. The Earth is made up of four main layers, the crust, the mantle, the outer core and the inner core. The crust is the outermost layer of the Earth. It's where we live and it's made up of solid rock. The crust is divided into two types, the continental crust and the oceanic crust. The continental crust is thicker and less dense, while the oceanic crust is thinner and denser. The crust is only about 5 to 70 kilometers thick, which is very thin compared to the other layers. Beneath the crust is the mantle. The mantle is a thick layer of rock that makes up about 84% of the Earth's volume. The mantle extends from the bottom of the crust to about 2,900 kilometers deep. It's made of solid rock, but it can flow very slowly. The mantle is made up of silicate minerals which contain silicon and oxygen. It also has minerals like olivine and pyroxene. The upper part of the mantle, along with the crust, makes up the lithosphere. The lithosphere is broken into pieces called tectonic plates. These tectonic plates float on the softer, more fluid part of the mantle called the asthenosphere. The movement of these plates causes earthquakes and volcanoes. Below the mantle is the outer core. The outer core is made of liquid iron and nickel and extends from about 2,900 kilometers to 550 kilometers deep. The outer core is very hot with temperatures ranging from 4,000 to 6,000 degrees Celsius. The movement of the liquid metal creates the Earth's magnetic field. At the very center of the Earth is the inner core. The inner core is made of solid iron and nickel and is about 1.220 kilometers thick. The inner core is even hotter than the outer core, with temperatures reaching up to 5,700 degrees Celsius. Despite the high temperatures, the inner core remains solid due to the immense pressure. Now that we know the basic layers, let's dive deeper into each one. Starting with the crust, did you know that it contains many different types of rocks and minerals? The crust is home to many valuable minerals and ores. For example, we find gold, silver, copper and diamonds in the Earth's crust. Mining is the process of extracting these valuable minerals from the Earth. There are different types of mines like open pit mines and underground mines. Some of the most famous mines in the world are found in the Earth's crust. For example, the Kimberley Diamond Mine in South Africa and the Super Pit Gold Mine in Australia. Rocks in the crust can be divided into three types igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic. Igneous rocks form from cooled magma or lava. Sedimentary rocks are made from particles of sand, shells, pebbles, and other fragments of material. They often form in layers. Metamorphic rocks are formed under the surface of the earth from the change that occurs due to intense heat and pressure. Moving on to the mantle, did you know that it's the largest layer of the earth? The mantle's rock is rich in magnesium and iron. The mantle also contains minerals like garnet and peridotite. These minerals can sometimes be brought to the surface by volcanic eruptions. One of the most interesting features of the mantle is the presence of mantle plumes. These are columns of hot solid material that rise from deep within the mantle to the surface. Mantle plumes can create volcanic islands like the Hawaiian Islands. As the plume reaches the surface it melts and forms magma that erupts as lava. The mantle's ability to flow slowly over time is what drives the movement of tectonic plates. This process is called mantle convection. Next, let's talk about the outer core. The outer core's liquid iron and nickel are constantly moving, creating electric currents. These electric currents generate the Earth's magnetic field, which protects us from harmful solar radiation and helps guide compasses. The magnetic field is also responsible for the beautiful auroras, or northern and southern lights that we see near the poles. The outer core's movement is affected by the rotation of the Earth. This creates complex patterns in the magnetic field known as geomagnetic reversals. Geomagnetic reversals happen when the magnetic poles switch places. This has occurred many times throughout Earth's history. Finally, we reach the inner core. Despite its small size compared to the other layers, the inner core plays a crucial role in our planet's structure. The inner core's solid iron and nickel are under extreme pressure, more than three million times the pressure at the Earth's surface. Scientists believe that the inner core is slowly growing as the outer core cools and solidifies over time. The study of seismic waves from earthquakes helps scientists learn about the inner core. 
These waves travel differently through solid and liquid materials. Seismic waves are like natural X-rays of the Earth. They provide valuable information about the structure and composition of our planet's interior. One interesting fact is that the inner core might not be completely solid. Some scientists think it could have a small amount of liquid or mushy material. Understanding the inner surface of the Earth helps us learn more about the processes that shape our planet, like volcanic eruptions and the creation of mountains. Did you know that the Earth's inner layers are still cooling from the heat generated during its formation over 4.5 billion years ago? The study of the Earth's inner layers is called geology. Geologists use tools like seismographs and drills to explore what's beneath our feet. Exploring the inner surface of the Earth helps us find resources like oil, natural gas, and minerals that we use in our everyday lives. One of the deepest man-made holes in the Earth is the Kola Superdeep Borehole in Russia. It reaches about 12 kilometers deep, but that's still just a tiny scratch on the surface. The more we learn about the Earth's inner layers, the more we can understand natural disasters like earthquakes and volcanic eruptions, helping us to prepare and protect ourselves. Thank you for joining us on this incredible journey to the center of the Earth. Remember to always be curious and keep exploring the amazing world around us. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for more fun and educational videos about the wonders of our planet and beyond. See you next time, young geologists. Keep digging into the fascinating mysteries of our Earth and its many layers.